Hello guys, so welcome to KO Tutorials. So here I'm coming up with a new tutorial on modeling a WAG 12B Indian locomotive engine in 3ds Max. So let's get started. So very first of all, let's take a reference over here. So I have downloaded few of the references over here. So we'll be modeling and texturing this locomotive over here. So let's get started. So parallelly we'll be continuing with other tutorials also. So let's take a reference over here. So we have few of the references. So this is one of the reference which I'll be uh, utilizing it right now. I have other references also. You can take any of the references. So let's take a plane over here. After that, let's go to the top view. Take a box. So after taking a box, I'll slightly push this up. So definitely we'll be blocking it. So I'll scale it a bit up. I'll just slightly broaden it. So convert to editable poly over here, select this polygons, push this up, take a swift loop over here, select the vertices slightly, I'll shuffle it in this way. After that, Now, over here, I'll put some swift loop over here. So let's put, go into this view over here. Let's put two swift loops over here. Select the vertices, slightly shift this up. So you can shuffle this a bit up in this way that you can do it later on also not a problem after that I'll go into the vertices I'll shift this a bit back over here So I'll again go over here, I'll select this and I'll slightly extrude it down a bit over here. So you can extrude it or else I can put it later on that part. So better we just extrude it that would be much better over here so we will not go with the details so again take a swift loop over here let's select this edge over here in this way So select this edge, slightly shift this outside, after that I can put one swift loop over here. Select this, shuffle it up, now into this, I can again take a line tool over here, I will just take a line tool, 
I'll just push it in this way till here. Okay, so close that. So select the vertices. I'll slightly shuffle it a bit to the center over here. Just go over here and let's give a extrude modifier. So let's just add a extrude modifier over here and I'll slightly shuffle this till here so we'll just keep it over here for now So we are just into the blocking stage. After that, I can go into this view and I can just take a line tool so just take a line tool over here and rendering enabling viewport and make it rectangular so we'll just push it in this way so I'll just reduce its width if required So go into the vertices, shuffle it a bit up and just duplicate that. So definitely we can uh, go with the details later on. So whatever blocking I can do right now, I am doing that. So again, I can just take a line tool, I'll save it once, go over here, off this or else I'll just go over here. and just give a fillet enable in viewport make it as radial so slightly shuffle this a bit up So take again a line and shuffle it till here, shift and drag duplicate it. So just attach it with this, so attach it with this, fuse vertices weld vertices so you can just weld this 
and let's just duplicate it after that I can just go over here and I can just take a box I'll go to the top view over here and I'll take a box over here shift this and increase its height shuffle a bit down so I can go into this and if you want to put some refine over here I can put some refine in this way so go into the vertices again and slightly shift this till here now what I can do over here is like again I will take a cylinder over here take a cylinder So select this and reduce its sides, increase its radius. And shift this till here. Convert to editable poly. So what I can do is like, I will slightly increase it, convert to editable poly, I will select this polygons, slightly I will insert it, very less, and I will extrude it out, till here, and I will bevel it. increase that so select this again give bevel can slightly uh, I think this much scaling is okay and I'll extrude a bit and I'll click OK over here. So now over here, what I'll do is like, I'll take a box over here, I'll activate this, and slightly scale this, put it over here in this way. again take a cylinder so reduce the height segments reduce the height reduce the sides and convert to editable poly select the polygons give a bit of inset and extrude it
all right so just again shift this till here that's it all right so guys if any doubts please put it in the comment section over here so please like and subscribe my youtube channel so if you are not subscribed yet please do subscribe so definitely we'll be continuing this rest of the part in the coming tutorial so first we'll be doing the blocking part so thanks for watching this tutorial